This week, I'm going to lead you through a twisting flow. We're going to start slower, mobilizing the spine and the shoulder area with twists, and then we're going to progress to some sun salutations, and we're going to end with some stronger side planks. Let's get started. We're going to start our practice from lying down on the belly. As you are setting up your space, I would recommend having the screen on your left hand side along the long side of the mat. As we are going to travel from one side of the mat to the other, then it's easier to follow. So have it on your left hand side and then come lie down on your belly. And I'm gonna lead you through the practice without any props today, but if you usually like using blocks in your practice or if you know that your knees are sensitive, then you could have something to prop the knees or have blocks somewhere close to you. And we're just going to take a moment resting on the belly. So you could bring hands under the head if you want, or you could Turn one cheek onto the mat, whatever helps you to release your neck, your head down for a moment. And then start to focus on your breath. Maybe a few slightly deeper breaths to begin with. Letting the breaths flow down to the belly area. Also focus on the movements of your breaths around the ribs, trying to mobilize the rib cage upper back area already here with your breaths. So let your breaths flow out to the sides, letting the rib cage expand out to the sides. Breathe towards the back of the ribs. And breathe down towards the mat. Take a couple more breaths in and out. If Ujjayi breath is a part of your practice, then this would be a good moment to find that gentle Ujjayi breath before we start to move. And then we're going to do the first few movements down on the belly. We're going to start with a broken wings pose. So now slowly start to elevate your chest slightly off the mat. Bring your right hand on the mat close to the right shoulder and then elevate your chest off the mat just so that you can slide your left arm under your chest and then lean your chest down on top of that left arm and you can bring right hand under the head so lean your head down as well and take a few breaths here we're looking for some opening in the outside of that left shoulder maybe in the upper back area make sure there's no pain in the shoulders you can still adjust where that left arm is in relation to your shoulder height is it lower down? Is it higher up? Are you slightly bending that left elbow? Take another breath or two in and out here, trying to keep the neck soft so we're not tensing one area while releasing the other. And then slide the right hand back closer to your shoulders. You can elevate your chest off the mat. And now open that left arm out to your left side into a cactus shape so that your left elbow is roughly shoulder height or a bit higher up. We're going to bend the right knee, press the right hand on the mat and then roll over to the left side, maybe stepping the right foot behind you. You can keep your left leg extended. So now looking for some stretch on the inside of that right shoulder, the chest area, so finding the pecs. If you feel there's any pain in the back, you can always bend both knees in front of you. That might be a bit more gentle for the back. 
Take another couple of breaths in and out. The right hand could either just support you or it could gently press on to the mat. Opening that chest area. Take another breath in and out. And then slowly start to release the pose, come back down onto the belly. And we're going to do both of these poses to the other side. Now step your left hand on the mat. Inhale, elevate your chest off the mat and slide right arm under the chest. That broken wings pose. And then lean your chest down. You can bring left hand under your head. And now looking for some opening around the right shoulder it might come to your right arm in that upper arm maybe in your upper back and send your breaths to those areas where you feel the pose most and if you don't feel that it's an intense pose that's fine not every pose is equally intense for everyone and it might be also that the second side feels different than the first side take another breath in and out and then slide your left hand back on the mat elevate your chest off the che off your arm and then step or open that right arm out to your right side again. A kind of cactus shape, the elbow about shoulder height or a bit higher up. Bend your left knee, step the left hand on the mat so you can press down through that left hand and then roll on to your right side. So now we're looking for the opening around the right shoulder, so the inside or the front side of that right shoulder, the pecs area. Again, you could bend both knees so they're in front of you. And that left arm supporting. Don't push to a point where there's pain. We're only at the beginning of the practice, starting the practice. Take a couple more breaths in and out. We're feeling into the shoulders and becoming aware where there might be tension. And then slowly start to release the pose. Come back onto your belly. And now from here, we'll go into the twisted cobras. Now lengthen right arm overhead, left hand under the left shoulder. Inhale, open your chest away from that. So you're slightly twisting out to the left. And then exhale, release down, change arms and hands the other way around. And then as you inhale, lift your chest, opening it to the right. You might peek over the right shoulder. Exhale, release down. So back bending and twisting a couple more rounds. Change the arms. Inhale, open chest to the left. Exhale. Inhale, release down again, change the arms. Inhale, open the chest off the mat and out to the right. Exhale, release down. Once more, we go to left and right side. Inhale, open to the left. Exhale, release down and let your breath help with that movement. Once more to the right. Inhale, open the chest you could look out to the right and exhale release down now bring both hands under the shoulders inhale onto hands and knees exhale lean your pelvis into child's pose and try to lean head down it doesn't need to go down on the mat but just leaning the head down towards the mat we're going to now walk hands towards the left side of the mat, staying in that child's pose, but adding a bit of a side bend. Some, some of my colleagues call this the moon child because it's a combination of a half moon, side bend and the child's pose. Take another breath in and out. You can still keep your arms quite long, so you're trying to open that right side body. 
And the next exhalation, slowly walk hands, arms back to center. And as you inhale, continue walking hands out to the right. And again, try to lean head down so we're not tensing the neck. You could also lean head onto that left arm. And breathing towards that left side body, mobilizing with your breath. Try to soften the tops of the shoulders. Take another breath in and out. And then as you exhale, slowly come back to center. And from child's pose, inhale onto hands and knees. And you could open hands roughly shoulder width apart. Bring knees roughly hip width apart. If you like, you can tuck the toes under here. We'll go into the disco cat. So first, start to circle your chest. So you're going through cat cows, but with a circling motion. And first, just finding that circle in the chest. You can let your head, your neck follow the movements in the back. And then notice the circling happening in your pelvis as well. So you could also visualize your tailbone drawing circles in the air. Breathing with the movement. Again, let your neck, your head follow those circles. And then change the direction. Now you can let the movement find its own life. So if you like, you can also start to circle the weight from hands to knees. So adding another layer of circles. You can bend and straighten your elbows. It's a very free flow movement. But looking for movement in the shoulders, in the spine, in the hips. Let's do one more round. Your own circles. And then find your way to center what feels like center, what feels like a rather neutral spine here. And for a moment, lift into a downward dog to open the backs of the legs. Just energizing the legs, the feet a bit here. You could walk from one foot to the other. Let the head drop down. Take another breath or two in and out. So then we're going to come back down onto hands and knees. So when you're ready, come back onto hands and knees, onto all fours. And we're gonna go into the tiger pose and then a twisting pigeon. First, find your balance on two hands and the left knee. As you inhale, extend your right leg behind you. Then, Start to lift your left hand off the mat, reaching that left arm behind you next to the left side and open your chest. You can stay here or bend the right knee, reach left hand to the right foot and then just open the chest tiny bit more and you could start to twist out to the left. Make sure there's no pain in the back. Keep the left arm active. Pressing down. Take another breath in and out. And then slowly release the leg. Bring your left hand down. And now swing your right leg all the way close to your hands into a pigeon. Slide your left leg further back. If you like using blocks, you could bring a block under your right hip here. You can release the left for toes. And we're going to do a twisting pigeon. You can either step left hand in front of you, stay on that left hand, or bring your left elbow onto the mat. As you inhale, twist out to the right, and you can either reach the right arm up, or you can also bring right arm behind the back. If that gives a bit more space for your twist. You choose where the arms are. Take a couple of breaths in and out. Keep the legs active so we're not collapsed down. We are 
in a way, pressing the mat away with the legs. Take another breath in and out. And then slowly release the twist. Bring your both hands to the mat and lift yourself into an upright pigeon. From there, bring both knees on the mat. So we're back on all fours. And from here, we're gonna leave the left hand on the mat again. Again, inhale, twist out to the right. Now going in to thread the needle. Slide your right arm under the left arm so that you could lean the right shoulder side of the head on the mat. And you can either stay here or slowly lengthen the left arm overhead. You can stay here or you have one more option. Now lengthen your left leg behind you, either keeping toes on the mat or find your balance, elevating the left leg off the mat. And again, breathing here. Maybe breathing more to the ribs. We can keep the lower belly gently drawn in. Take another breath in and out. And then exhale, release the left foot, the left knee down. Step left hand under the shoulder. Inhale, reach right arm up. Again, twisting out to the right. And exhale, bring both hands to the mat. Tuck the toes under and lift into the downward dog. Head dropping down. From here, we're going to come into slightly higher twists. Now we're going to step the right foot forward to the hands. And first, bring the left knee on the mat. We're going to inhale, lift the back up, lift the arms up. And then bring palms together in front of the chest. Now, as you exhale, bring left elbow to the outside of your right knee or thigh. Or alternative, bring your left hand down to the mat. We're going to inhale, twist towards the right. Palms can gently press together. And then if you want, elevate your left knee off the mat. And breathe. You could look out to the side, you could even look up to the ceiling. Or if you feel your neck is really tense, you could turn your gaze down to the mat, but you're still twisting, turning your chest. Take another breath in and out wherever you are. And then as you exhale, release the twist, bring hands down, and now bring your right hand on the inside of your right foot, Turn left foot to the heel down onto the mat. And then inhale, twist out to the left. Now either reaching your left arm up or bring left arm behind the back. Try to keep your feet grounded, pressing down, actively rotating your chest. Keep your right hip rotated open, so make sure you're Right knee is not collapsing in. Take another breath here, in and out. And then as you inhale, start to lift yourself up to standing. Extend your legs, you can close your feet. Bring arms down. Find a steady, wide-legged pose. With in-breath, lengthen arms up, open your chest. Exhale, bend down into a full forward bend. You can bring fingertips on the mat, or if you're using blocks, bring a block under the hands. We're going to now bring left hand on the mat or onto a block, and then inhale, reach the right arm up, twisting to the right again. Here as well, the right arm could go behind the back, and you could bend your right knee, Try to keep the left knee extended. And then exhale, release the twist. Come back to center, let your head drop down. We're gonna twist to the other side. So now right hand stays down. Inhale, twist out to the left. And again, you can reach left arm up or bring left arm behind the back. You can bend your left knee. 
opening the chest, turning the ribs out to the left. And then exhale, release the twist. Bring hands or fingertips down. Take a couple of breaths in that active forward bend. So trying to keep your feet active, fronts of the legs active, as if you're lifting your kneecaps towards the hips. Take another breath in and out. At the same time, upper body sinking down. And then exhale, bend the knees. And as you inhale, roll the back up. Reach arms up, open the chest. As you exhale, open your left hip. And we're going to go into that side angle pose on the other side. So now exhale, bring your left hand down on the inside of the left foot. And then keep opening your chest. The right arm reaching up or right arm behind the back. And try to keep your right foot down, pressing down. Breathing in and out. You could look down if that releases the neck. Take one more breath in your side angle pose. And then the next pose is going to be the twisted lunge. So as you exhale, turn down towards the mat, turn your right heel up and first bring the right knee down. You can release the toes. Inhale, lift your back, lift your arms up, open the chest. And exhale, bring palms together in front of the chest. We're going to exhale. Now bring right elbow to the outside of the left knee, so going to the other side, or right hand on the mat. And then inhale, twist out to the left. Palms can press together. And you have the option to lift the right knee off the mat, just to make the pose a bit stronger for the legs. And breathing here, in and out. As we continue with the poses, we're going to change the order of the poses on the second side. We're going to exhale, now release the twist, bring hands down, and we're going to go into the pigeon. So walk your left foot towards the right hand, open your left hip into the pigeon pose. You can slide your right leg a bit further back, either right hand on the mat or Bring your right elbow down. We're going to inhale again, twist out to the left. You could reach the left arm up or bring left arm behind the back. And again, we're not just collapsing down. The legs are still slightly pressing down. The right hand or elbow pressing down. So you are still lifting yourself off the mat. Take another breath in and out. And then exhale, slowly release. Bring your hands, your both hands to the mat. Lift your chest higher up. And then bring your both knees onto the mat. Onto all fours. We're gonna go into the tiger pose. So find your balance, open palms on the mat. And now as you inhale, send your left leg up behind you. You can stay here or lift your right hand off the mat and reach right arm next to your side. Either stay here or bend the left knee and then reach right hand to the left foot. So you could take hold of the foot and then open the chest a bit more, twisting a bit more out to the right side. And breathing in and out. Again, maybe breathing a bit more out to the ribs. Take another breath in and out. And then slowly, slowly, Start to release your, your knee, your hand down to the mat. 
And we're going to go into the thread, the needle from here. So now leave your right hand down. Inhale, twist to the left, reach your left arm up. And then as you exhale, slide your left arm under the right arm. So you can bring your left shoulder, head onto the mat. And you can stay here with your right hand on the mat. Or reach your right arm overhead, maybe just fingertips on the mat. And then you have that last option. Extend your right leg behind you. You can keep toes on the mat. Or find your balance, lifting your right leg up into the air. And breathe in and out. Take another breath in your thread the needle. And then slowly, slowly start to release your foot, your knee down. Bring both hands under shoulders. Inhale, reach your left arm up, opening chest. And then exhale, bring both hands down and just rock the weight a bit from side to side. Good. Shake the head from side to side. Now we're going to go into our sun salutations and those side planks. So from all fours, find your way onto hands and feet into downward facing dog. And then we're going to go through our first flow from here. Inhale forward to plank, exhale to low plank or all the way down onto the mat. Inhale cobra or upward facing dog and exhale back into downward dog. Head can drop down. Like a look to your hands, step or jump your feet to your hands. Inhale to flat back, halfway lift. And exhale, bend down, full forward bend. Inhale, lift, roll your back up, reach arms up. We start the full round from here. So exhale, bend down, full forward bend. Inhale to flat back, halfway up. And as you exhale, bring hands down, step or jump your feet into plank. And you can flow with your own breath. Exhale down to low plank or down to the mat. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale to downward dog, lifting the pelvis up. And you can adjust your hands. You can adjust your feet here. Breathe in and out. And then you can look to your hands again. Step or jump your feet to your hands. Inhale to flat back, open the chest. Exhale, bend down, full forward bend. Inhale, roll the back up, reach arms up, open the chest. One more round. Exhaling down. Inhale to flat back, reaching head away from the tail. Exhale, bring hands down, step or jump the feet back. And just let your full body flow here. Exhaling down. Inhaling to your back bend. Cobra or upward dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Head dropping down. Breathe in and out. And then again, you can look forward. Step or jump your feet to your hands. Inhale to flat back, open the chest. Exhale, bending down. Inhale, roll the back up, reach arms up. And then we'll do just half round. Exhale, once more, bending down. Inhale to flat back. And exhale, bring hands down, step or jump your feet into plank. And then we're going to stay here. We're going to go into those side planks. Make sure your hands are stable. Now we're going to step our right foot 
over to the left side of the mat and turn into side plank. You can reach your right arm up. And then exhale, bring hands down, back to center. Right foot comes down. Step your left foot behind the right foot. Reach your left arm up. Side plank on the other side. And we continue. You can bring left hand down, left foot down. Step right foot over, turning into that side plank. Exhale, right hand down. Step right foot back. And then step left foot over behind the right foot and reach the left arm up. Once more, we go to both sides, staying a bit longer. Bring left hand down, left foot down, step right foot behind the left foot and find your side plank. Now we're going to stay here, trying to stay here for five breaths. Reaching hit and the feet away from each other. Keep hovering the left side body away from the mat. One more breath in and out. Or follow your own five breaths. But after five breaths, bring your right hand down. You can turn to center and then going to the other side, step left foot behind the right foot and find one more side plank. Five breaths on the second side. Keep pushing the floor away with your right hand, right arm, right shoulder. And make sure you are breathing. Count those five breaths for yourself. And then after your five breaths, slowly bring your left hand down. Come back into your plank, back to center. And from there, bring both knees to the mat. And then walk your knees to the left side of the mat. So you can sit down onto your right hip. Come lie down on the right side. And then keep knees bent on your right side. Open your chest up to the ceiling into a reclining twist. One more twist to end this practice. But now let this twist be an easy one. So let yourself adjust your legs, adjust where your arms are. And just let your whole body soften. You could turn head to one side or the other. Let your shoulders relax. Let your hands, your wrists relax. Take another breath in and out. And then slowly, slowly roll onto your back from your twist. Bring legs up to center and just swing the legs a few times from side to side. And then we'll go into that reclining twist on the other side. So when you're ready, bring your knees to your left side. Open chest up to the ceiling. Let your right arm open. And again, head could turn to one side or the other. And allow your breath to deepen just a bit. Let your breath slow down. Take a few more breaths in and out in your twist. Then in your own time, you can slide onto your back, release the twist. 
If you want to hug the knees or if you want to swing the knees, you can do that. And then we're going to find Shavasana pose. Find our final resting pose. If you want, you can bring hands onto your body. Maybe one hand on the belly, other hand closer to the ribs. Just to feel the breath. It sometimes helps to focus on the breath when we can feel it in our hands as well. Let your shoulders soften. Let your neck soften and invite your full awareness to your breath if your neck is tense you could gently rock the head from side to side give yourself a moment to rest at the end of your practice. Allow exhalations to soften tension. And just notice how your body feels now. Take a few more breaths in and out in your Shavasana pose. You might exhale through the mouth, let out a sigh. And then if you want to extend your Shavasana pose, just stay here longer. You can stay in your resting pose as long as you feel it's needed today. Or if you now feel that you'd like to end your practice together, just slowly roll on to your side. And then from your side, bring yourself up into a seat, into your own final seat where you feel you can still leave your hips, your spine, your shoulders soft. And if it's a part of your practice, you can bring palms together in front of the chest. And as always, at the end of the practice, most importantly, thank yourself for showing up, for coming onto the mat, into your practice today. And I thank you very much for joining in. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining in. If you enjoyed the practice, please give the video a thumbs up and also leave your comments below. I'd love to hear how you like this model of doing a slow practice that ends with a stronger flow in the end. And any other questions, leave them in the comments below as well. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon. And that way you'll be immediately notified when there's a new video on the channel. Thank you again, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.